<laughs> nah, I, I appreciate this. Uh, you know, the next thing we just to stay on the Gilbert Arena scene, the next thing we got to make fun of is these awful golden brown jerseys they was wearing in the game. <laughs> <laughs> These are some of the worst jerseys I've I've seen. Like I don't. Can you think of like worse jerseys than these early Wizards jerseys? Like the the Bullets jerseys are even cleaner. And did you <clears throat> did you notice how um, the gold ones are kind of satin? <laughs> it's so garbage, man. Like, They're bro, one of the about- worst jerseys ever. <laughs> I'm gonna put the link in the this, this in the description so you can see these jerseys. Like they're, and then they got these Mitchell and the Ness as <laughs> jerseys that were like their home and away joints with all these holes in them. Like, like check uh check the link I sent just sent you guys. What? Like I just googled it. I'm like, oh, I remember these. Listen, those were the worst. Jer- those are the worst jerseys in sports. Bro, you you can definitely take uh, one of these uh, Wizards jerseys and use it as a do rag, bro. I'm pretty sure this joint is as a do rag. Is, is yeah, I'm pretty sure that's either silk or satin, bro. <laughs> that's yeah, so that's true, dog. Gotta have your hair right. No, that's like truthfully, those are the most disgusting jerseys ever. Yeah. Like, I don't even think it's close. I really don't. I really don't think it's close. Like, some jerseys are good, but those that that that's not it. That is not it. Hey, bro. you know this around the time where um, not the not the early ones like in '97 when they when these popped up. But you know they had Jordan out here in these jerseys. Yes. The last few years of Jordan's career was in these god awful jerseys. I want to see if he was in one of these gold joints. No wonder they didn't put that part in the last dance. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to show these trash jerseys. Uncle Jordan. Last dance, they didn't mention his, his, his career at all. They said, if you watch the last dance and you weren't around, you would think that he would, he ended up a bull. He he was retired as a bull, and that's it. You would think that's I it. mean, that's that's basically how everyone treats his career anyway. Don't no one talk about his time with the Wizards. Like the people that were watching Jordan were kind of like sad to see him be a wizard just because, like, he was MJ, but he wasn't MJ. He wasn't like 30 point a game MJ, he was like 23. But apparently, he only played because he wanted a certain percentage of ownership for the team. Yeah, that's crazy. That's that's life changing. I come back for that. (laughs) I come back for that. And he, like, but he, he had like a few games or more than a few games where he was just getting buckets on people. Like, still? Like, like yeah, you're averaging 23, but you still killing? Like, young kids? Like, <clears throat> that's wild. Yeah. I don't know if I'll let you that's get off the jerseys. I what mean, it's, and I'm, I'm like, that's, that's what happens when you're, like, one of the best of all time. But also, like, you're the best of all time. Of course, you're still embarrassing kids half your age. See, but I don't. I don't know if I let my. I don't know if I let my idol torch me in these these god awful high school jerseys. These are these are bad <laughs> jerseys, bro. They so look cheap. Alan, what you just said is you don't know if you let your idol. So let's let's pretend that you're in the NBA. Here's Michael Jordan. You can't stop your idol. So you're gonna injure him. That's ignorant. Maybe. Nah, that's ignorant. You I, said I really you- don't like losing, bro. Especially like, especially if I can be like on some Bruce uh, Bruce Bowen where I just slide my foot under. It's it's like a slight ankle sprain where you be out for like two weeks. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You just want to fight me the next game, but it is cool. I'm not really worried. Ignorant. Alan is the most ignorant man I've ever heard in my life. I'm not ignorant, bro. I just I really don't. I look once I have an objective, which is to win the game. I know there are certain things that I can't do, especially against the greatest of all time. But what I can do is make sure he can't play, which means I win. I'm never trying to, like, ruin your career. I'm just trying to beat you today. Which means I win. <laughs> this guy's nuts. <laughs> this guy is truly nuts. 
Oh my oh my gosh, man. That was hilarious. I'm competitive but lazy. Y'all know this. That's no, that's and, not and that's, the, that's, that's just ignorant, dog. That's the Bill and Beer Award goes to Alan Pettigrew. <laughs> Bill Wait, Lamb. say that again, Calvin. I said the Bill and Beer Award goes to Alan Pettigrew. He got a ring. He got two of them. <laughs> what do you mean? Everybody in the 80s got rings. They was out here hurting people. Why can't I do it? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, Why man, can't I do it? talking about success. If somebody got to roll their ankle for me to be successful. It is what it is, baby. If someone has to roll their ankle for me to be successful, it is what it is. Alan's going to zaza somebody because he wanted to be successful. You see, this, I'm playing rec league ball at this point in my life. If I'm out here zaza on somebody, Wait, I expect life, to get jumped at. the point in your life where you weren't playing rec league ball? Yeah. <clears throat> I played like 33 seconds in high school. <laughs> Dear God. Uh, I was there for every practice, though. You know what? I was there for every practice. Man, I don't care about that man. <laughs> Ignorant. Once again, Calvin McGowan, hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, you know, like, share, subscribe, leave something in the comments. Um, you know, you can also listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts. You made it this far. You know, once again, thank you. I hope you got a lot done of whatever it was you were working on while listening to this. Um, and yeah, in, enjoy the rest of your day.